Hi, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of KC Caffeine, Doki Doki Literature Edition. I have a group of friends here in this uh, quarantine shutdown, and they have started getting me to play this game. And apparently it's nightmare inducing, and they think that this is fun. The game we are playing is called Doki Doki Literature. Uh, We're about three days into it. The story goes, you're a, you know, young viral gentleman uh, who is going to school with three girls and you join in their uh, literature club and things turn awry. Uh, as it stands now in the story, uh, we are going to, I'm going spending the weekend with one of the girls uh, to make things Decor- yeah decorations we're making decorations uh the cast is all here we are doing this as a staged reading <laughs> um i will be playing the role of monica because just because uh, you do it well is she in charge yo spencer hello uh, will be playing the role of jason aka the main character Indeed. Um, we have Sean reading the uh, narration. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Bree will be reading. I don't even know that the character. Yatsuki. Yatsuki. Um, or anything, Baka. <laughs> and um, we have Ryan will be playing Yuri. Uh, but until he gets on, it will be Mike who will be you playing that character. Well, hello, everyone. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> So most of them, I think everyone has played this game except for me, so they know what's happening. I, I have I, no idea what's going on. Jason and I have not actually played this game, so I'm walking into this uh, pretty much on the same level as you. I mean... I know that something is coming, but they haven't really gone into it too much. So you and me are going to be shocked at the same time. Okay. So um, right now we are playing. This is right after a a meeting in which uh, Jason has chosen to go and spend time with Yuri uh, outside of school. So here we go. Sean, I think that's you. Oh, are we on? Yeah, we're, we're on. on. Yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> I can't believe this. Yui is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety is shooting through the roof, among other things. <laughs> Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she's told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? And not just the chocolates. Not just the chocolates. Or is it too early for that? Um, You're 16. Well, you know what? Never mind. We don't know how old they are. No, no, they're all 18. It's only one one o'clock. Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. Or walk around in public with my raging heart on. (laughs) Or my hand off of it. I seriously can't wait. Pants don't fit anymore. Please help me. (laughs) And just like that, it's already Sunday. I wonder what happened to Saturday. I wasn't only there. I wasn't paying attention. But, you know, now we're here. We might as well enjoy it. Okay, let's see what's going to happen now. All day Saturday jerk it off let's just be real you know what honestly that's probably for the best that's happened to all of us at some point i've been getting increasingly anxious about yours upcoming visit you just let off some tension man i keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous but it doesn't help much this way when she comes over i'm already on that number three oh wow wow Yuri is clearly an introvert, and also an intimate 
person in general. There was no doubt she'll open up a little bit <laughs> when it's just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. You and <laughs> Meanwhile, we've even been sexting occasionally. Texting, texting <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, <clears throat> I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. If I was less of an asshole, I might think about that, but it's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind between nuts. And between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Probably. I decide to visit Sayori before Yui comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Because who needs to ask permission? Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're family, without a care in the world. The house is quiet. Dun dun. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I breathe deeply. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find Sayori. Oh. oh shit, there is nobody for play Sayori. Laura, Laura, you're Sayori. Hi, Jason. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. She's a woman now. There's a minute of silence. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I, I, I guess you're right. Hey, Laura, turn your volume up. You're super quiet. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's all. I recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had. Fine. Over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori has already left. Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last... Hmm. Hmm. Monica told me. Yeah, only natural for her to keep me informed about the vegetable preparations, right? Uh, that's that. That's true. But what about you? Yeah, Laura, your voice is really quiet and it's almost not picking up. Oh no, I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> are you on a cell phone or are you on a mic? I'm on a mic. Hold on, I might be able to turn you up. 
do do do. This is the music. Uh, like this is some. I don't know. Hold on. It's the sad music. Listen, I already know that this lady is going to die. Like I feel it in my spirit. Um. <laughs> Okay, say something again, Laura. Checking. Okay, now uh, now she's louder for me. I just went into your user volume and turned you all the way up. I was too low. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Boom, boom. Okay, now back to your regularly scheduled program. But what about you? Not you, oh. not you. Aren't you going to be helping Moan Ika today? <laughs> of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. What is she staring south by southwest? <laughs> 37 hey. degrees west, 14 degrees north, and 15 degrees east. Look, he just rolled a d20 to figure out where he was going to look. Yeah. Because <laughs> everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. You got some condoms? I just wanted to see how you were doing. And if you had any condoms. After you, you <laughs> left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. Guys, I'll be back in a minute. I, uh... My character won't come up for a while anyway. Okay. Uh, have fun. I know you too well. So? Sayori smiled, shaking her head. That's no good, Jason. Uh -huh. Why can't it? Just like it's always been. This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried of, about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Oh yeah, blame the world. You gotta laugh. Sayori. I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? <laughs> I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Sayori gives me an empty smile. 
You really put me in a trap, Jason. Oh, she's a trap? Uh, oh, shit. Where are the police? You are wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really going to make me say it, aren't you, Jason? Fish sticks. I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. The way her room looks, I can see why. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and carry the weight by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Oh, yeah. Without any about me. Uh, I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Sean, how have you transformed into Connery here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I needed that. I definitely needed that. Moscow Mule, and I come back, and Sean is suddenly Sean Connery. Like, what the hell? There's a lot that's happened here. Apparently. Why, Sayori? <clears throat> eh, Ella. Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. God, Jason, what a dick. <laughs> because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's, you know, only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit. To make it, I mean, a little bit harder, I mean, to make every day a little better for you, yeah. For you. Um, there we go. <clears throat> you don't understand at all, Jason. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have all had to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Like Yui. Ah. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone to be happy together is the best thing for me. Certainly not that stuffed animal. 
but then I okay, that cow is else. legit. Okay. Yeah, you you do not diss the cow. Do not Fuck diss you. the cow. I wasn't talking about the My cow. My favorite. <laughs> no cow slander. So far. She arms like bit. Her arms fucking tiny. <laughs> but then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get close with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. Man, these bitches gotta stop reading poetry. Yeah. No, no, they're writing poetry. It's even worse. Ugh. See, this is why MySpace isn't a thing anymore, okay? Laura, lie. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. But hurt? <laughs> this is the uh, post going through the, the mid-episode trigger warning. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it, got, it just got dark real quick. I think it got dark. Is this the, is this it, the first twi twist? Are we trying to spoilers out of the spoilers? Okay. No spoilers. Okay. Katie, are you drunk or is your connection just slow? I connection is just think I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, you drunk. <laughs> your connection is very drunk. Don't worry, Katie. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up to you. My, my yeah, I'm gonna go make one myself. I'll be right no, back. No, I am not that who sell me, and that is I have worked at seven thirty. Your connection is really drunk. <laughs> well, drunk I robot. Mean... You may You're need gonna... to reboot your phone or something. That's that's bad. I'm not even... It's real bad. It's it's real bad. That's you said, uh, did I just like this? That was actually kind of freaky, too. It really kind of was. Am I still <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> hey, Katie, is Bill on the internets? Uh, he's across me. Because I'm hearing me through your phone. I can hear you. Hi. We hear you. <laughs> Katie, are you are you on your phone or are you on a a, a computer? I'm on a computer. Stop. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, I I'll that. just re Discord and I'll be back. You bully. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just want you to know your computer is like. I love you. <laughs> I do not know what is going on, but I have a drink and I'm ready to go. Oh, he's good. Yay, he's good. He's good. Hey, uh -huh. who also left? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Dream of Dragon, I believe. All right. Uh, so, Laura, do you want to continue, or are we good? Are you, what, I'm good. Up? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's go. Uh -huh. You're right. I don't understand. Oh, my God, those I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I I don't need to understand. Sensitive prick. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting or something. Or something. That, that's what I'll do. Yeah, sure. That That's what I'll do. No, Jason. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it was. But I, I was selfish. Pregnant. Did you pick him up? No. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Yeah, look at this room. Tears streak down Sayori's face. Yeah, but I made you join the literature club like, because I was selfish. Yeah, that's what it was. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I was just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Alright, bend over. 
Without thinking, I once again <laughs> grab Sayori's shoulders. Oh, God. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. My throbbing penis against her pelvic muscles. There's those shorts, Jesus. Uh, ah. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Jason. Jason. Sayori. <laughs> I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. I mean, if I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a uh, bonus. I like how Jason isn't capitalized. <laughs> but please never <laughs> underestimate how much I care about you. I never capitalized my name. I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm -hmm. Are you an anti-capitalist, Jason? Just don't think about it. Sayori isn't hugging back. The pills must have started to have an effect. Despite <laughs> my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. Limp. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Jesus. Please don't. What the fuck? <laughs> Jason? This is the voice acting, man. All right, now she's knocked it out of the park. The rest of us are goofing off, but she's... Yeah. Laura? There is her Academy Award! Mine. Hi! Sayori barely manages to speak <laughs> between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the thing right. It's my first time, you know. But all I want is for her to know that I care. About my penis. If you have it in you... I mean, if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish, too. I'm sorry, what? You, well, I mean, if you're going to be selfish, I deserve. I get to be selfish, too. I mean, no matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. Like your underpants. Are we, at, like, near the end of Act 1 right now? Yeah. I'll make these feelings go away. <laughs> and if there's anything that you need me to do... Then you'd better tell me. Stick it in me. Stick it in me right now. <laughs> I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me. In return. Also. Don't know anything. Also. It's all really scary. Yeah, hugs are super scary. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Don't scare me, I'm hugged. It's all really scary. Well, she coordinated that. Yeah. I don't understand any of my feelings, Jason. Oh, my yesterday afternoon. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Feelings won't see me here. This but is real. Your yes. hugs are so warm. Your dick is so hard. And that's really scary too. It didn't hurt. <laughs> Theory lets me go. Clearly in awe. As she does so, I let her go as well. It was good. For the festival is tomorrow. The festivus for the rest of us. Festivus is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um. Uh. It's what I want. <laughs> I promise. I. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Would. If I say. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Yeah, because you're going to end on the Saturday, right, fool? Yeah. Maybe I should cancel? <clears throat> no, don't! Please don't. David? If I if you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. When do you get back? At the very least, do you want me to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise. I'm not into Yuri them. Shakes her I mean Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I new person. Do you, do you want somebody else? I don't know if that would be very good for today. <laughs> the role of Sayori is now being played by Sean. <laughs> you understand, right? <laughs> Are you just going to bounce back and forth? Uh... It's kind of hard like, for, for me to fully understand. <laughs> but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Oh my god, you are sure. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I, <laughs> I look forward to it. Thrust. I s <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Whiskey wanted to say something. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. And on that note, we'll be right back in just a minute. 